many different people. Inspiring arts and culture. Watch now on iPlayer. Live from London, this is BBC News. Allies of the Russian dissident Alexei Navalny say his funeral will take place in Moscow on Friday. His widow Yulia Navalnaya, who's vowed to carry on his fight, is to speak before the European Parliament. With claims the death toll in Gaza has reached nearly 30,000, new details emerge about a potential ceasefire. A stark warning for South Korea, the country's birth rate plummets again amid concerns its working population could halve. And councils across England are facing financial meltdown, with many approaching bankruptcy in the next few years. Hello and welcome, I'm Samantha Simmons. Friends of the Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny say his funeral will take place at a church in Moscow on Friday. He died in prison in Siberia earlier this month. He'd been serving a 19-year sentence on charges which his supporters said were baseless and politically motivated. Officials say he had fallen ill and passed away suddenly. His body was not handed over by the authorities for several days. His mother said they had threatened her because they wanted the burial to take place in secret. The news of the funeral comes just before Mr Navalny's widow Yulia is due to address the European Parliament in a speech about political prisoners, which we'll bring to you live later on this hour. Let's go to our correspondent, uh, Nick Beek, who is in Brussels for us, in Strasbourg rather. Nick, welcome to you. So these details just emerging about Alexei Navalny's funeral in the past half hour or so. What more do we know? Well, Samantha, these details have come from the team that used to work for Alexei Navalny, and they have confirmed that the funeral...